the rest of Ingham County, Prosecutor Stuart Dunnings brings a troubling crime back into the headlines. Dunnings is accused of patronizing women who were in a human trafficking ring. Jermont Terry spoke with the heroes who are helping rescue women trapped in this life, and he's live along Interstate 7594. And those highways contribute greatly to the number of women caught up in sex trafficking in southeast Michigan. How so, Jermont? They do because the number, I can tell you that people, those young girls, they are often forced into this life and many of them are often snatched off the streets. The I-75-94 corridor makes Detroit a hot spot because essentially where we're located. The girls are being shipped on 94 to Chicago and shipped along 75 are as far south to Miami. And the latest study shows that the number of reported cases continues to climb. People are stopping selling drugs to sell humans. That's how bad human sex trafficking is across the nation. And Michigan is no exception. We are all out there building awareness. Dina Policicchio with Alternatives for Girls works to rescue young women caught up in the life. The arrest of the Ingham County prosecutor accused of paying for sex with trafficking girls left many surprised. Yesterday's arrests show that how deep this is part of our culture. Policicchio says it goes beyond the young women who are preyed upon. The buyers are leading the way. Back in January, there was a deadly shootout during a human trafficking raid at the Southfield Hotel. Law enforcement is so outnumbered by these individuals. In 2013, this video captured the arrest of 59 men and women. Southeast Michigan's Crimes Against Children Task Force also recovered 10 girls. And check out these troubling figures. 118 reported cases of human trafficking was reported in 2013. It jumped to 131 the next year. And in 2015, 152 cases. That's a 16% increase. But Policicchio says the jump is a good sign. And obviously that's working. People are noticing, people are seeing this as a problem. And awareness is key here. However, the Johns and the pimps are using technology like smartphones to stay ahead of cops to set up many of these meetings. Reporting live along I-75 and 94 in Detroit, Jermont Terry, Local 4.